more cattle farming. You work a real job to come home and work at home, huh? Gotta love it. To replace the bull we just hauled off. If you hook up any kind of trailers, that thing right there is amazing. You can back up to a trailer by yourself. Yeah. And then if you have a teenager, like on the screen, you don't even have to get out. I'll get out and make sure it's hooked up. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> Usually we do get out. I'm just joking, but wait till it's latched. We do usually get out. There's him. Always ready for a road trip. So today we are heading to the sale barn. We're gonna try to replace the bull that we showed y'all that we had to haul off that had the injury over the weekend. Um, so we've got to replace him because we actually have 76 mama cows, and right now we only have two bulls, and that's too many. Um, it's too many cows for two bulls and we've actually got one of the bulls across the road with a group of cows there's only like 10 cows over there and one of the bulls we've got one of the bulls with 66 cows that's outrageously too many so we need at least one more bull uh, we're gonna go to the sale barn um, which is where we went the other day and hauled him off but that was like an emergency situation that was the only one that was open when we hauled him off it was pretty small um, there was actually one bull there we're kind of kicking ourselves for not buying aren't we yeah he, he looked like a nice one and the actual owner the actual owner said that he's just replacing him because he was getting keeping too many of his heifers so right so if you have cows and you keep your heifers uh, eventually you got to replace your bull because you got too many heifers that he can't breed um, but it was Ben talked to the guy right before he came in the ring to be auctioned off and we had to make a split-second decision and his price was a little bit too high for just a, a small sale barn on a Saturday um, he actually went for more than we paid here a month or so ago for some bulls that had had all kinds of tests done to tell us that they were sound and all that so just didn't want to pay it but we're gonna to go to our local sale barn that's pretty good size so we're gonna go see what we can find today and we thought we would bring y'all along I don't know how much we'll video in the sale barn because if you've ever been to a sale barn it's like they can sniff you out if you're new if you don't know what you're doing is that true well it's not just that for all you vloggers out there it's kind of awkward walking around with a, a camera with a big old fuzzy ball on the top yeah. of it and a big group of people that they just you don't think get it, you. And you think it's awkward to just walk around some places with a camera and people stare at you. You go in somewhere where it's full of old men and try to carry a camera. Or just sometimes me and the kids will just drop in there when we're in town on, on Selborne Day. And just a woman and two kids. Kind of out of place there, but hey, I don't care. What are you saying? You turn some heads? <laughs> Probably because they're like, what in the world is she doing here? But I don't care. I just go anyway. So anyway, we'll try to take some footage, um, show y'all kind of how the sale works. All right, we're at the cattle auction, but we cannot bring this big honking camera in there. We will get laughed out of the place. So Ben's gonna do some footage on his phone. Down 
Sub 120, Pruitt. One big reason I love this sub one. Yes, it's local, but when I go in there, I go in there with a set dollar amount per cow that I want to spend. And I'm not very quick at math in my head. And when the auctioneer is rabbling off all these numbers and my adrenaline kind of gets rushing, I cannot calculate the price per pound off of their weight that comes in. So if you look right here at the bottom of this screen, it's got price in yellow. That's going to be changing as the auctioneer is saying uh, dollar per pound, dollar two per pound, dollar five per pound, dollar twenty per pound, whatever he's running. But if you'll go up two from that, it says dollar per head. That is what I'm watching when I go in there. That way I know how much I'm fixing to spend on that one cow or if I bought a group and it'll say up at the top number of head coming in there if there's a group of four, but it's going to give me my dollar per head and then all I got to do is quickly multiply that times how many ever is coming in the ring. So I love this setup right here. And this helps me a bunch. Hey, Well, that did not go according to plan. We ended up buying one. Got a really good deal on it. It wasn't exactly what we was wanting, but he would work in a, in a bind. We got him for less than what we actually got out of 2K. And I wanted to have him tested since we was going to use him as a breeder bull. Sent him to the back. He didn't pass tests. So I had to turn him around and send him right back through. We're not staying for him to go back through. Pretty much guaranteed you're going to lose money without ever even getting him on a trailer. So just how it goes sometimes when you buy it at an auction. Sometimes you win, sometimes we lose. We did win on 2K, in my opinion. We had him for four or five years, used him as a breeder bull, threw a lot of good calves. Um, even though we only got about half what we paid for him when we sold him, um, he still he still produced a lot of calves. So that, to me, that was a uh, that was a win for us. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I think Emily is ready to go back and sit in the barn some more. No. All right, so now we've stopped. Andrews went in to grab us a quick bite to eat. We're actually going to take her mom and dad something to eat. Her mom had a procedure done today, and don't think they feel like cooking, in the shape to do any cooking. We're going to go spend a little time with them. Anyway, anything else in there, Em? Nope. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, God bless.